Hello there guys, it's me again, Unstable Voltage, with another episode of How to Feed the Beast in Minecraft. Today we're going to be looking at another couple of relatively simple machines, but they are going to be vitally important to some of the things we need to build over the next few videos. So let's go and have a look at what we're going to be making today. The first machine we're going to build today is a compressor. This is another Industrial Craft 2 machine, and this is used for squeezing items together to make different items. The second machine we're going to build today is a rolling machine. Now this is actually part of the Railcraft mod, but it is certainly needed to make some of the materials that we're going to need to make some of the more advanced machines in the upcoming videos. As always, let's head on over to the workshop to see how we build them and what we're going to do with them. Right then, so we're back in the workshop. Let's go and have a look in the chest and see the materials we need to build our first machine, the compressor. I've decided in future videos I'm not going to show you all the individual components, just the main bits that you need uh, to build the machine. So for the compressor we need a standard machine block, an electronic circuit and six stone. So just take note there, it has to be stone, not cobblestone for this to work. We'll take them over to the crafting table. The machine block goes in the middle, electronic circuit at the bottom slot and then the six stone go all the way down either side. And there we have our compressor, so let's pick that up. Now remember the compressor is an industrial craft item. If you want to move the compressor you're going to have to use your wrench, otherwise you'll just get the machine block back. So being an industrial craft 2 item it requires industrial craft power. I've already made a space for it here against this wall and there's a power cable coming up from our bat box and generator down below. And let's pop the compressor down. Now the compressor has many uses and can press a number of different things, but the main thing we want it for, particularly over the next few videos, is to make carbon plating. So let me show you how that's done. First we're going to need some coal and put the coal in the macerator. Okay, so now I've got six pieces of coal dust in the macerator. I'm going to take that for the time being, leave the macerator running and I'm going to head on over to the crafting table. So at the crafting table you need to take your coal dust and put out four pieces in a square and that will give you raw carbon fibre. Now we're going to need a couple of those so I'm going to go back and grab some more coal. Okay so now I have two raw carbon fibres and with these go back to the crafting table and put them down next to each other side by side and you will get a raw carbon mesh. Now what we do is take the raw carbon mesh over to the compressor. We put our raw carbon mesh in the compressor and there you have it. We put the raw carbon mesh into the compressor and we receive a carbon plate as the result. And we're going to need to make a lot of these in the future because a lot of the machines we're going to be building will require carbon plates. So let's have a look at the other machine we need to build, the rolling machine. As I said before, this is a railcraft item. It requires a crafting table, four pistons and four iron ingots over to the crafting table, oh, nearly went past it. Our crafting table goes in the middle, the four pistons go on the top, bottom, left and right, and the four iron ingots go in the four corners, and that gives us our rolling machine. Now, because the rolling machine is a railcraft item, it actually needs build craft power, so we're not going to attach it to our bat box, instead we're going to put it here, connected to our peat fired engines downstairs, Let's pop that against the wall. Now if we open up the interface here, what you can see on the right hand side, this is how much power the machine has. Uh, there's a little tiny bit that has trickled into it because there was already some in the pipes from the engines, they're not currently on. Let's turn them on and now you shall see the power on the rolling machine starts to increase and it's nearly full already. Now again, the rolling machine has lots of uses, particularly in railcraft for making rails. But what we want it for today is this. You're going to need some refined iron, some bronze ingots and tin ingots. Three refined iron across the top, three bronze ingots across the middle, three tin ingots across the bottom. Now here, this will tell you in that the recipe is a mixed metal ingot. Now in order to get it to build, you actually have to click. So we'll click here on the recipe. The machine slowly uses power and produces mixed metal ingots. So there we go, I'm going to make a couple of those. So now I have six mixed metal ingots, what am I going to do with them? I'm going to take them back over to our newly built compressor and pop them in there. And there we have it, our very first advanced alloy. 
So now, by building two simple machines, the compressor and the rolling machine, we are able to make um, advanced alloys and we are able to make carbon plates. Now both of those are going to be used for making both armour and advanced machines, which I will be covering in the next couple of videos. So, thank you all once again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it both useful and entertaining. If you have, please as usual, like, subscribe and share and I can keep producing these videos. If you've got any ideas for things you'd like to see in future episodes, if there's a particular machine or item that you'd like to see me build and demonstrate, please either send me a message or leave it in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.